Hello everybody and welcome to a, I guess you could say a brand new video series, but it's not really a new video series, it's just a series I'm going to do some videos on, and that is Conan Exiles. Yes, Conan Exiles. It's a pretty cool game actually. If you like the survival build em games like Minecraft, which we know there's way too many people who like that game. <laughs> there's uh, Arch Survival, there's Planet... Uh, Planet Builders, there's there's just a whole bunch of games out there that are survival games. And this is a new one that just came out a couple weeks back, back in January, I think it was, January 19th. And uh, it's a high fantasy survival game set in Robert E. Howard's Conan series. And it's a really cool game. In fact, the, the company that made it, Funcom, also made Age of Conan, which was the MMORPG that came back in, like, what was that? 2006, 2007, somewhere around there. Really good game for its time. Uh, had some issues when it launched. <coughs> <coughs> and this game is in early access right now on Steam, so if you want to go check it out, you can. It's a really, like I said, it's a really cool game. So let's get just to looking at a few things. Now, I did not start this off as a fresh new player. I decided I would start off as an existing player. It would be a lot better to talk about some of the content and some of the things about the game. And just kind of explain the lore behind it and uh, just explain the game a little. So, this is my character. This is Bandor, the Barbarian. He's a Sumerian. And I'm actually outside of a complex here that me and some of my companions built. And this is our arena for dragon slaying. And it's actually kind of cool. I'll take you guys up for a better view up on the uh, our Stygian set uh, temple area. So I have a set temple up here. I'm, I also am a worshiper of set. Usually I would not suggest worshiping set because the set is pure evil, and but that's okay. But uh, yeah, we built all this stuff, and it's kind of cool because you can build in place blocks and different ways and come up with really cool designs and everything. So, but we built this as a way to have uh, just a really cool place to overlook the land and everything. There's my set temple up there with my priest of set. You can see him standing outside of it. And this is our compound. This is one of two compounds now. I, I want to let you know. This is our what we call our um, thrall training grounds. As you guys saw, there was a three wheels of pain down there. Now, those are wheels of pain. Those are how you train thralls. And thralls are basically people that you go out in the world and you capture and you bring back. And you train them for yourself. Um, it's something that they did during the Conan Saga storyline. It was something that was real popular in that that's in, in Robert E. Howard's writings. And the Will of Pain was just something that was used. It was a tool that was used. In fact, Conan trained on one uh, as a kid uh, for a while until he got to a certain age and he was freed uh, from it. And then trained to be a gladiator. And then he went on to be a thief and then a pirate and then a king and then all kinds of stuff. Like, Conan is, is pretty famous for that kind of thing. But that's our dragon arena. And there's a dragon that spawns nearby. We just drag it up here and bring it through the gate. Uh, close the gate and usually let the archers that we have along the walls there if you see them There's like a lot of different archers we have in there They will start shooting at the dragon and grab its attention and pull it off of us So we can actually uh, sit there and beat on it while they're while they're shooting arrows at it And it's just an easy way to farm the dragon and it's really really cool Especially when you get to kill a dragon because if you don't have a good group um, It can take a quite a bit of time to do that so if you guys see there, I have uh, food and water. You have to eat food and drink water also. It's, it's, this is a high survival game, so you have to do those kind of things to survive. You have to go out in the world and hunt creatures and stuff like that. Now, there's two ways you can hunt creatures. You can hunt creatures with a bow, which is a really good thing to do. Um, but I, I prefer a sword and, and board and, and you know hunting hunting these enemies down. I, here's my character now with this axe out, and he's going to go. We're going to go do a little hunting real quick. And I'm just going to show you guys some of the sites around our place. So, if you guys want to know where this area is, it's actually up here in this upper right-hand corner. It's right near a city of thralls, basically, where you can go and grab thall, thralls and everything. Here's a couple wheels of pains. There's a uh, the main priest or sent, uh, priest of Sat is here. I'm not sure exactly where their altar is, but I, I'm pretty sure it's in this area because every time we go in here, we find a couple priests of Sat in here. Over here in this spot, right here, is the priest of Mitra. If you want the, the arch priest of Mitra, they'll always usually be in this area. If not, they're going to be somewhere over here. There's another um, 
priest of Mitra that's that's at an altar. And then I don't know where to get the priest of Yog, but it's going to be somewhere in this area because there's a lot of, pri uh, of uh, del what's called the Delphari. And Delphari are basically like uh, nomads and bandits and, and um, cannibals and stuff like that. And usually they hang out in this area pretty heavily. There's a little group over here too, but there wasn't a priest of Yog here. Now, if you want to become a priest of Yog, it's right here on this little ledge right here. Right here. That's right. Right there. If you want to become a priest of Set, it's actually up here on this spot. And if you want to get the priest uh, priest of Mitra, it's it says it's right here, like on this island, but it's not. It's actually on this cliffside right here on this little point. Um, you have to make your way up here. And it's a real hard one to get to. So if you don't have select Mitra as your priest, that is the god that you, you uh, worship, it's going to be really hard to get. Now, I'm under, I actually have all three gods. Uh, so I can worship Set, Mitra, and uh, Yogg. And I can only do the first tier of the other two, but set, I'm, I'm at tier two. And we're working on getting a tier three altar right now. I just have to get the levels behind me. I'm, I think I'm only like level 40 right now, yeah. But here's my uh, gear that I carry with me all the time when I go out adventuring. I always carry an extra stack of food. Carry a, a long sword, so if my axe starts to wear down. Carry a torch for light, and I carry the yog cleaver, and of course my dagger of set. Right now I'm working on getting Mitra stuff, so I'm going to be building a, a Mitra temple over at our compound. But we're just going to go out here. This is the, the city I was telling you about that's full of uh, thralls. Some really good thralls are there. You can get some tier 3s. and I'm pretty sure there's some tier 4 in there, but uh, we haven't gotten one yet. And then there's a couple uh, things on the other side. Oh, I mean, uh, yes, crush you. Rhinos are a really good source of meat if you're looking for meat. You can get meat from all kinds of things. You can, you know, go around kill the birds. The birds will rapid attack you. They're like emus from a bad place, we won't say. But you use an axe, you chop them up, you get meat and bones from them. And you can also get hives. But the better the axe that you use to chop them up, the more supplies you get. And the more, uh, the better supplies you get. So I'm using a steel axe and a steel pick. And those things take a while to learn to craft, so just warning you, if you just have stone axe and stone pick, don't be, be worried. Starting out in the game can be kind of tough, but there is a feature that you can turn on when you create your server or create your game that allows you to have, um, <clears throat> to be able to get or, or keep your items when you die. It's a really nice feature, a lot of people might want to use it because... <laughs> It does. It is pretty horrible when you die and you're halfway across the map and you got to run all the way back to get your stuff and everything. But that's the city of Set over there. <coughs> Something happened bad um, in that area, and now it's full of like death and, and corruption and everything. So if you go in there, you'll get this stuff called corruption, and you have to go to a dancer and get the dancer to dance for you to get rid of it. So if you don't have a dancer thrall, I suggest you keep one at your party. But there's a lot of really cool things you can find in this game. There's caves that you can explore. There's ancient lost ruins. Uh, eventually, the devs are supposed to add more lore-based stuff to the game. They're supposed to add a little bit uh, some more creatures and different things like that. But these are just some of the basic creatures you're going to run across besides humanoids and everything. There is some really cool creatures inside of there, over there, back this way. Back over there is some, uh, like you the salt wrong lakes. Uh, but the, it's, uh, the Crystal Lakes is what uh, they were called in the uh, Robert E. Howard storyline. And uh, it's a really cool place. I mean, they, all, all this stuff, the fact that they're, they they brought it over from Robert E. Howard's lore, from the High Boring Adventure yes. of Conan and Cole the Conqueror, um, really makes a lot of, uh, of interesting stuff. If you guys don't know the lore and history of Conan, it's basically set in a time before the the continents of the world were separated and Atlantis came into the earth. Um, then it, then it was, uh, it takes place. And it's it, kind of interesting because Robert E. Howard was a historian um, by, by teaching. I mean, that's what he did. He went to school to be his, you know, a historian. And he just, he became uh, infatuated with this time, with this era, like what happened before, you know, the continent shifted and all that kind of stuff. If you, you know, believe in that kind of stuff, I'm a pretty big believer in the the, the continent shifting concept. Um, makes a lot of sense. But all this stuff is is predating that. There's the the crystal lakes over there. And this is the scar of scent, also right there. 
And if you look on the map, it runs all the way to the north. It's <clears throat> basically corrupted land that's made its way south. It's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, bird. There's rhinos, there's all kinds of crazy creatures out here. There's these bug things that walk around with tendrils out of their face. They're, they're scary when you first run across them. But yeah, lots of really cool things. And that, look at it, they even have the Tree of Woe where Conan got attached um, in the movie Conan by uh, by Thulsa Doom. I love how they took on a lot of those elements as well. This is like bug creatures I'm telling you about. Like, I think they're nasty little buggers. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these. Get rid of the poison on me. Curse you! I don't want to get in a mess up with one of those right now. Not, no, no, no. Don't need to be in the SmackDown event of the Century with a Rhino. You picked the wrong fight. But really cool game. There's Bone Dragon, uh, Bone Dragon, but World Boss thing you can go farm. A lot like similar to most survival games. There is like big boss creatures. There's this Black Rhino King <coughs> boss that you can fight. There's the uh, Dragon, the Bone Dragon. There's dragons. Um, every culture in the game has a boss encounter kind of character that you can face. That's a named character. Uh, so it's pretty cool, and if you capture them and take them back and make them a thrall, it's really cool because they can they can make better things for you. We're gonna go ahead and head back to the compound now because it's getting dark out, and I don't want to be out after dark because it gets really dark in the game. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and bust my torch out and place it with my uh, shield. Uh, that way, I have my light in case it gets too dark before I get back. <coughs> go ahead and drink some water and eat some food. But yeah, it's, to me, I think out of most of the survival games, this one ranks up there as number one right now. Not because it's new or anything, but because it, what it has to offer as a game. It, there's not a lot of survival games out there that offer you the ability to build, you know, like this does. I mean, yeah, I know Ark offers uh, some of the <laughs> And that's really cool. I'm glad that Ark offers that, that capability for you to build. Um, com compounds and everything, tame dinosaurs, all Ark's a really good one, but for the high fantasy, there's not a whole lot besides this and really Minecraft um, that offer the high fantasy kind of setting, and this one's really good at that. I love this when you're out at night, you can carry your torch out in front of you, and you can go into caves like this. I'm using a Sumerian axe, I love I love the, the Conan stuff, and I'm a big fan of Cole the Conqueror. And Cole, if you guys didn't know, was an Atlantean, one of the last Atlanteans. Um, and right after Atlantis died, it, what was left of his people, they came to the mainland, and, and he was the a king. He became known as Cole the Conqueror. So you have different crafting stations. You have like an armorer's bench you can make. You have like a blacksmith's bench. Carpentry bench, you have smelters, which are furnaces that you can smelt uh, iron and stuff in. You have a cauldron that you can make potions and stuff in. You have tanneries where you can tan leathers and things like that. You also have cooking fires where you can cook, um, cook things. And like I said, this isn't our main compound. This is our brawl training compound. We spend a lot of time over here because we've been building a lot in this area. Uh, compared to our other compound, but this place at night looks amazing. Uh, this is uh, one of the like throwaway beds that we make, but there's a campfire. We cook a lot of food. Trust me, you're gonna want to. Uh, you can turn that off to where you don't need food or water if you wanted to. You could make a lot of things in this just really uh, more simplified. You can turn up like how many resources you can gather. We don't have any of that stuff turned on or turned up. We have everything set pretty much at base. We just kept the. Uh, changed a few things like the durability of the shields so they last a little bit longer instead of getting annihilated in like three hits and but I'll show you guys the compound at night what it looks at like. like I said it looks amazing at night and we'll go up here and you can even see the the, the thrall city in the background there they um, I don't remember the name of it. it starts with an S but there's the city over there you can see it lit up and this is our compound at night and you can see this thing like really far away it's really cool but yeah, this is uh, Conan Exiles. It's, like I said, it's just a really fun, exciting game. <clears throat> like I said, if you want to check it out, you can go to Steam. You do have to buy it, unfortunately, in order to play it. So 
but it is $39.99 and you can, like I said, you can get it off of Steam right now and get into the early access. It does have a few bugs every now and then. Or they, they pop up and they they can bug you pretty bad, but it's nothing to uh, really stress about or worry about. And I do plan on just showing you guys the arena, our dragon pit in action, um, or a dragon basically killing grounds and stuff. We also have test, you know, use it for our own um, stuff. We will battle it out in there and everything. But it's a really, just a really fun kind of thing. And you can build multiple places in the game, which is really cool. Because, like I said, this is just one of our places. Uh, it's kind of become like our main home right now. Uh, while we build on it and everything. And then we're going to be building a third structure on the other side of... Uh, probably more out this way somewhere. Uh, maybe to make some training for other thralls that are in this area here. There's like this pirate place here. Really cool uh, thing. <clears throat> They're like, yeah, it's just pirates. But yeah, this this whole map here, there's tons of stuff to do, tons of things to explore. There's hidden caves, hidden underground stuff. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, in, it's, it's pretty insane when you get into it and you see how much like, I, the, what I just showed you guys was just this little bit right here. And that I know it didn't seem like much or didn't seem to take long and everything. Now, we do have the day-night cycle set a little differently. We have, like, uh, one-hour days with, like, ten or ten-minute nights because uh, the nights go by so long if you don't set it to be a little bit quicker and everything. But that's okay. You know, you can do that. That's, that's one of the options that the game that has to offer is... Uh, a little bit of flexibility and everything like that. And like I said, you can build some really crazy compounds and stuff and, and places to live and everything. Showing you guys some of the, the things that, that we built. I didn't build this, I built that actually over there. I built that whole set uh, structure there with the platform up there and the temple up there. Um, the other group, I, the other people I play with, they uh, built the arena, and I did help build some of this here, and I built, like I said, I built that whole thing over there, but they built most of this stuff uh, when I was, <clears throat> when we were doing, like, a lot of us do a lot of different things. I farm a lot of creatures and stuff for food and, and, and hides. I also gather a lot of resources, and we have one person who's, like, our main uh, builder, and they build a lot of the, the structure, you know, stuff like that. And then uh, we have one person who's a crafter, like an armor crafter, and a thrall trainer. And yeah. then uh, me, who's like the warrior who goes out and, and battles the big bad things and everything. If you guys want, it's really cool when you get in an arena with a dragon and you're just sitting there like uh, what they call tanking. And it's something from an MM, what they use in MMOs. And it's basically... A person who stands up front and takes the beating while everyone else is sitting doing damage. That's pretty much all I do. It's, it's pretty cool though. And it's a lot of fun. It's just something I like to do in games. But I, I'm, like I said, I'm a big, huge uh, Robert E. Howard fan. Huge Robert E. Howard fan. So I grew up watching the old, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Conan, and everything. So great, great, great story. So if you guys want to check this game out again, Go check it out on Steam. You, you know, you can go also check out the website. I put a link to the website in the description below if you want to go check out the website. There's a lot of videos there and stuff like that. Or just check around YouTube. There's a lot of people playing the game right now, especially right now with the game just now coming out uh, from early, early access. And then, of course, uh, they did say that by this summer it will be out on Xbox as well. So if you want, if you have it on, uh, want to get it on console, you can do that as well, and that's pretty cool. I love how you can, like, look at the character raw. Die! Down, enemies. Yeah, but cool game. Cool, cool game. Definitely one of the more um, realistic, like I said, type of games out there when it comes to survivability and with the, the, the graphics. Now, I will say this. If you're under the age of 18, you might not be able to want, uh, be able to get this game. I don't think your parents would be really, you know, happy because it is pretty violent at times. But other than that, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a really cool game. So, I do want to thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos by me, you can hit the subscribe button and see when I post videos. So, that's it for now. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all later. Also, I will have more Conan videos to come. Bye!